Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do airbrush and then everything you have to need for to do your shirt. So I already got everything set. That's the shirt I'm gonna be using. The colors. It's gonna be a skull with flames. So it's gonna be the dark black, dark blue, clayish, and then gray, and then white. And then we also need this so we can pinch the, the shirt, pull it to the side right now. I'm going to show you guys. And also the, the cleaner. And how for the, and this is over here, this is my rest of the colors that I have, but I don't need this. So my little rag, and then we're going to come over here. Right here, this is my airbrush that I use. And that's the... The cover that I use behind, but right here I'm gonna put the. You guys gonna see how I'm gonna do it. And this right here is my compressor. It's a two tank, and then you can turn it on. But right now we're gonna turn it on because I have to do with the sketch first, and then I'm gonna continue painting. And this one is the one I use to do the painting there, clean the the airbrush and the paint to to do the the paint. And to make sure that it comes red, yellow, or whatever colors we're using. Okay, so we're gonna start setting it up. So the first thing we're gonna I'm gonna get the shirt. And sorry about the quality, I'm gonna be recording myself. So for this shirt, we're gonna throw it on the back. So we're gonna make sure that the shirt is lined up. So from this angle to the other angle. So you put in a, a pin in there on one side and then another pin on the other side. And then one right here. And another one over here. And we'll continue doing that all the way down. Make sure the, the shirt is stretched out and it's a flat surface. So like that when you do the sketch and then when you're able to paint it, it doesn't blow away. So in total the paints that I use is two on the top, three on the side, and three on the other side. So from here, I'm gonna put it over here. And then I forgot the other pin that I need to hold it. It's gonna be like this. It looks like that. So that you guys can see, let me remove another piece of cardboard that I use for the shirts. And then turn it on the compressor. So for the PSI right here, it's supposed to be like 70 PSI. And that's a good um, pressure for the paint to go through. And also your soap to clean the, the airbrush. So every single time you throw your airbrush in there with the soap, any soap, it doesn't matter, you can clean it up. So the first thing, we're gonna make sure that the airbrush is working. So remove the cap. You can put a little bit of soap. Because I haven't used my airbrush maybe in a year, I think. And then make sure that it goes air. Okay, now for the for the soap, it's not moving the soap, so we have to remove for the back and move the the needle for the needles. 
on the gun it has different needles for different um, thickness some of them are for more lighter lines or more stretcher lines there you go you guys can see the it's coming out And it's coming out, but not a lot, so I have to, like, move the needle back and forth so I can remove the, the paint. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to use the, the, the airbrush cleaner, this one right here. Alright, it's going smooth. It's still not doing the water. It does do it, but just a little bit. Hopefully, you guys can see it on the video. Alright, I'm gonna throw this to the trash, dump it out the little soap, and then when you see the cleaner, just add a little bit. Forgot to open it, it's a new one. I thought I had an open one. Okay, so we move the cover from there. I see now I can pour it. And then you have to get the cap back and just shake it. And then just continue removing everything in the paint to dissolve with the cleaner, brush cleaner. Let me see if it shows in the video. It still does it, so we have to remove it from here, from the tip. This is another part that's important for the airbrush to work. And then, might be paint in the, it's like another part right here. There's a lot of different parts for the airbrush. And it's not letting the water come out. Um, so I'm losing the parts right here. Let's see if it works. Okay, I'm going to take it apart. And then I'm going to continue showing it on the next video. So this is going to be just a part one.